it's Shannon. I'm so glad to have you back here today for another Dollar Tree DIY. I do want to thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. We are actually going to be using plastic baseballs and plungers to make these candlesticks, which actually really have a really cool and high end look. So let's go ahead and jump right into the project. Now first I need to drill holes into my baseballs because we are going to slide those onto the plunger, the handles of the plungers. So I have a drill with a one inch size paddle bit on it. And you can kind of see on the baseballs there's already a little hole. So that's gonna be my guide. I'm gonna start there. We're gonna drill two holes, one on each end. also had some pliers and some snips on hand. This also kind of helped make those holes wide enough for the handles to fit through. All right, so now I have all of my baseballs with two holes in each one. See, it goes straight through all the way. I'm gonna make two of these candle holders and the first one is going to have five and the next one is going to have four. That way it kind of has a tiered type effect and we need to cut down our plunger handles down to size. So one is going to be the length of these five and the next one will be the length of these four. And I'm gonna do that with my handsaw and miter box. Here are the handles cut down. The first one is 14 and a half inches and the next one is 11 and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and stack the baseballs onto the handles. All right, so these are all stacked and ready to go. This is basically gonna be the center support to our candle holders. And the base and the top are going to be these round discs or plaques that are from Hobby Lobby. They come in a set of four and they are the four inch size. And they are only $2.99 for all four, so they're only 75 cents a piece. So great deal. I'm making two candlesticks, so I need four of these total. And then to glue it all together, I'm gonna to be using the original Super Glue Total Tech. This is an all-in-one heavy-duty adhesive and sealant that works on all materials. So if you guys don't have this in your craft supply or craft room, I would highly recommend it. It's one of those great things that you uh, can use while you're crafting and it also comes in handy when maybe you need to seal your pool liner or we even used it last fall to fix our concrete step and it has held up 100% perfectly. You can even work with this stuff under water if you need to. We're going to be using it to attach our center pieces to the plaques and I will make sure to put a link down in the description box to where you can find Total Tech and also more information about it. Like I said, definitely one of those things you wanna keep in your craft supplies and keep handy. All right, so let's go ahead and put the first one together using our Total Tech. I'm gonna put my plaque down right side up. So as you can see, there's this little routed out edge. I want that up, that's the decorative side. We're going to put some of our Total Tech onto one of the ends of the plunger handle. So you can see here, I just squeezed this onto the bottom kind of thickly. 
and it is kind of a frosting type thickness material and we're going to put this first end down right in the middle of that base kind of find your center you can kind of wiggle it around until you have it where you want it now we're going to add more of the total tech to this top end up here so I'm going to do the same thing and just squeeze some of this total tech adhesive onto the top side pretty thickly. We want to make sure we have plenty to grab on to our next piece. So again, I want this routed outside facing up and that'll give it that nice, pretty decorative touch. I'm going to push this down, find the center again. It grabs on pretty nicely. So as you can see, it's holding it up already, but Total Tech does take one hour to dry, and then it's gonna take another 12 hours for it to cure. So there is definitely a difference between cure time and dry time. So I'm gonna come back in about an hour and check on it and see if I can paint it. But in 12 hours for sure, this will be completely set and super strongly adhered. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the smaller candle holder. I did wanna mention that as I was moving this over, I changed my mind. So I flipped this top disc upside down so that routed edge is up underneath. Instead of facing up, it just kind of made this all flowed more nicely in the middle, like it's one piece. And so as you can see, I had to wipe off the total tech from the top and total tech is paintable so you can kind of see some of the residue but i'm going to paint these after they're dry and you will never know that i switched this around i'm going to go ahead and add my total tech onto this next one and get those drying After an hour, they were secure enough for me to take outside and spray paint. Here is after two coats of gray spray paint. I actually spray painted them with one coat. I flipped them upside down and sprayed them again so that way I didn't miss anything underneath where you couldn't see but potentially could see. And now I'm going to do a dry brushing technique using my white chalk paint and a foam paintbrush. I'm just basically going to wisp on the chalk paint because I want to still be able to see some of that gray coming through. All right, so I am just not happy with how this is going. You can still see that these are baseballs. I was kind of hoping that the chalk paint would kind of help hide that. You can see these three are different from the baseball bat balls and you are definitely be able to see those lines. So change of plans. I have my nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and dry brush the bottom so that the wood pieces have that weathered wood look and then I'm just going to use my hot glue to wrap the nautical rope around the baseballs. I think it's going to look really super cute.
these candle holders turned out so beautiful. I think another set of these on the other side of a mantle like I have it displayed here would be so gorgeous. I hope you give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll have even more high-end Dollar Tree DIY tutorials popping up on the screen for you to watch next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.